walk around the compound. Gonna walk around the compound. Walk around the compound. Yes, we're gonna walk around. Walk around the compound. Gonna walk around the compound. Walk around the compound. Yes, we're gonna walk around. Nice. Nice. Good girl. It's perfect. There's like a little, it's like a little kind of like a recessed bowl. Very slight in the ground. That is perfectly fitted for Molita's butt. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> uh. Walked into the, I walked into the compound from the corner over there, and I saw her, and I'm like, yep, got to start, got to start there, but, you know, Kron's third, Kron's third lot is in effect, and you have to be careful, and you have to try to uh, account for that. Thankfully, thankfully, uh, it didn't seem to, it didn't seem to cause her to get up and move and then we've got peeping having a peepee -pee. nice nice that's gotta feel good well indeed bye 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 hi <laughs> hello how are you? Good girl. Good girl. All right. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi. Hello. What's up? We're here. Oh my gosh. ZZ. ZZ. What are you doing? You rolling? They see me rolling, they snuffling. Hmm. Mr. Peas, Mr. Peas, Mr. Peas, Mr. Peas. Okay, we got another cat coming up. Got another cat coming up. Which one's this? Which one's this? Which one's this? Get a good look at him. Get a good look at him. I'm going to say what, who he is. I'm going to say who he is. In five, four, three, two, one. That's Jake. That's Jake. That is Mr. Jacob right there. Mr. Jacob H. Tiger. It's his full name. <laughs> Didn't know if you knew that. Mm. Hello. <gasps> and then there's Poopaluka. There's Poopaluka. And he's being roly poly. Poopaluka roly poly. I love it when not only when they're roly, but you can hear them. Probably can't hear it on the video, but I could hear them in real life with my special ears. I could hear him. He was just going <laughs> as he was rolling. He was feeling the roll so much that he was just going. <laughs> oh, there's Jake. You. You. What you got? What you got? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh my gosh, we've got some roly-poly kitties, we've got some snuffle bugs, some butt sniffers it seems like. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. As the Aussies like to say. Mum. Alright, it's uh, a little windy. It's a bit, it's a bit blustery. There's a touch of bluster. A touch of bluster. A 
is Jameson. Jameson's in the mule. And Jamie is still here. So there's Jameson and Jamie. Jam Jam. Jam Jam. Jam Jam's here. Jam Jam. Hello, Jam Jam. But it can only happen when both Jamie and Jameson are here simultaneously. Wow. That was cute. That was cute. That was pretty cute. Hi, Uncle Munch. Ah, oh, Uncle Munch. No, no, that's okay. I don't want to... I don't want to earn a quarter. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> no, Uncle Munch, I don't want to see a magic trick. Uh, um, thank you. I, I gotta get back into the... I gotta go back inside of the house where everyone else is at. Yeah. yeah Alright, well, you, you have a good day too. Alright, bye. No, 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 it's okay. I already gave you a hug when I, you know, first saw, first saw each other. Yeah, a hug that was in front of all the other grown-ups. That was, that's good. We can do that, but other ones, no. All right, thank All right, we gotta, this, there's a thing, oh my gosh, we're already six minutes and 40, 40 some odd seconds into this one, and here's the thing, it, we've got to, there's, there's an agenda, I have an agenda, all right, there's a, um, you see this, you see this, I, it's, I, there's a, there's a thing I'm, I'm supposed to be talking about, it's a thing I'm supposed to be talking about, but I can't talk about the thing, if all these cats are just roly poly in in, Snuffle guppable in. Stinking, stinking facing them in. What am I gonna do? How can I get anything done? Yeah. Yeah, you. 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 I want to, I want to, I need your help. Your help. You, dear viewer, dear pride member, dear friend of Yano. Some of you, Pride and Adi members, some. I need, this, I, this is a community-led endeavor, and I need some assistance. I need some assistance. I need assistance to help me see this come into fruition. And I think that a lot of folks are going to think that it's pretty neat. And uh, I think you'll like it. Basically, the working title right now, just like, it, like pride, pride Points. Pride Points. A, a point system. A system of points. Almost like video game achievements. Achievement unlocked! But specific and geared towards Pride members. Viewers and aficionados of care slash BCD related content. Pride points. Pride points! I wrote some down. Here's the thing. I, this is gonna for this to actually work, for this to actually be a thing. There needs to be. I wanted. I want it to be an organic and community, uh, like a like a grassroots kind of thing, a community bolstered initiative. So I can give 
I can give, like here are some liner notes, I can give some suggestions as far as like how it is that I want the concept to materialize, but I'm going to need some assistance, I'm going to need some help from y'all, that's where y'all come in. Look at him, look at him, oh my gosh. Now this, this is going to be, okay, how are we, this, what's this for? Just for your own kind of S's and G's. Really, just for your own kind of S's and G's. Who knows, maybe it can evolve into something at a later date. How are we going to keep track of, that's up to you, you will got to keep track of your own. Well, how are we going to verify the thing that's again that's up to you and it's going to be an integrity based system so it's not going to be like this thing where it's like a hard verification you've got to be able to live with your own system of saying yeah i did such and such thing or i did this list of things that equal this much many points therefore my total uh my total pride points are x and if those, if, here's the thing, if those, if those constituent numbers are based on, uh, you know, squirrely, uh, squirrely calculations on your part, well, you've got to live with that. You've got to live with that. This is not going to be a thing that it's going to be like, oh, well, we're going to police it. So. Jeremy. We're talking about something very important here. This is what I need everyone to do. And I, I'm gonna. Well, what? Okay. So before I get into that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna provide. This is kind of like. These are kind of examples, just some ideas that I had. Ideas that I had to help to kind of inform. Uh you know, maybe some of your suggestions, because that's what I'm going to ask for. I'm going to ask for a community. I'm going to ask for suggestions from the community that you're going to be able to put into the comment section below. What can be at a different tier of pride point? Hold on. The chickens are coming over. The chickens. The chickens are coming over. Ah! <laughs> Help, 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 All right. Now, I'm going to get into some more, some more ideas and some more, uh, some more of the logistics, I guess you could say. As far as how this whole program is hopefully going to be managed and how it's going to evolve, and I've already actually talked. Uh, I've got a, I've, I've got uh, someone that's going to be helping me. I will reveal that after I talk about this part, the next part. But again, these are not these are not necessarily like this isn't doesn't have to be the canon, okay? Whenever you're talking about world building, whenever you're talking about you know like creating systems. You've got the, uh, you've got the fan fiction. Okay, there's fan fiction and then there's canon. Now, fan fiction can sometimes help to inform and direct canon. But just because you make a suggestion does not mean that it's going to be canonical. And just because I'm making suggestions right now does not necessarily mean that it's going to automatically be the ultimate end all be all canon. <laughs> Hi boys. Hi boys. Hi boys. Oh, Ra, come here. Come here. Come here. I'm not gonna try to talk. I ain't gonna try to talk soups. I ain't gonna try to talk soups. <sighs> come here. Hi, bud. I talk to you first. I talk to you first. Yeah. I talk to you first. I am not gonna try to take away soups. That's not what I'm gonna do. So let's say. Let's say. If you want to add up some of your, you know, pride points, like maybe like like one point, because this is gonna this is gonna be how it is. It has to be like degrees of difficulty. Degrees of difficulty are going to be like the different tiers of points. 
of points. So, like, what would be one point? Have you ever watched uh, a BCD slash care video? Oh, look at that. You got... You got one point. Now, here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. This is like achievement unlocked. It's not one point for every single video you've ever watched. No, have you ever watched one video? Then you get a point. That's it, all right? We're not doing like those add up kind of things because then that's how people can artificially inflate those types of systems. No, this is gonna work like video game achievements. Video game achievements. Maybe another like one point. Have you ever non-ironically snuffled at the screen? Do you have a clear favorite care cat? Or chicken, or whatever. Do you have a favorite animal? But it's like specific, and you've clearly chosen, like, that's my animal. This is my animal. Minus 10 points if it's one of the Tigis. <laughs> Kidding. Maybe you get a point if you've ever commented on the video. So you see, like, this is like, you can create your own, like, personal kind of tally. You can create a personal tally. Let's see, like, okay, like, an another tiered system, like, another tier. Three points. Let's just go back. We'll, we're going we're gonna to focus on these guys. We'll talk about the list. We'll focus on, focus on these guys. We'll focus on Ra. Like, have you ever unintentionally said, like, a Derekism in real life? Now, it has to be unintentional. This is kind of where the integrity thing comes in. Because you can sit there and try to, like, say, like, oh, so, yeah. Uh -huh. I did it, guys. I did it. Okay, that's, again, not, you know. Is it really? Did you really unintentionally say that? Or are you just telling tall tales? All right. This is integrity. Have you ever caught yourself singing the care jingle? That might get you three points. Have you ever defended care in the comments section? Now, it's more specific. You can't sit there and, like, someone says, there's, like, hey, you guys are abusive and this is terrible. And then if you just, like, respond with just, like, you're a jerk, like, that might not be, you know. Like, have you ever actually had a thoughtful explanation? Like, no, this is kind of why you're wrong. And maybe that's that's part of that. Maybe, like, a five-point tier. Uh, have you ever made... Walk around the compound uh, webcast references often enough that someone unfamiliar with the pride has then asked you about it. Like, hey, you say such and such thing a lot. Like, what? Why do you? Why do you do that? Have you ever had that? Like, friend, family member, coworker, ask you like, you this th this thing that you often say. Why? Why do you say? Why do you, Pete's? What is that? What is that? Like, have you ever had that? That might get you five points. Have you ever made care? Or BCD themed art. Have you ever made care or BCD themed art? Have you ever shown a friend or family member pics or vids of BCD slash care related stuff often enough that they are now familiar with care or specific cats? Me. Have you ever shown like a family member enough videos of like, oh yeah, that's that guy that does the thing with the cats or oh, that's yeah, that's that one, uh, that's that one cat that you like. Arlali? Isn't that his name? Arlali? Have you ever had that? That might get you five points. Have you ever had a comment liked by Care, like the official Care account? Heidi, myself, or Jamie? That might get you five points. And again, again, it's not aggregating. It's not aggregating the way that we're going to do this. It's not necessarily going to be like, how many comments have you had? Like, I've had comments like, uh, 17 times, so that's 17 times 5. I've got this many points. No, it's like, has it happened once? And if it's happened once, that's your video game achievement. That's your care achievement. That's your that's your pride achievement. Achievement unlocked, that's it. Now we're going to move on to the next thing. Again, these examples that I'm giving right now, these examples that I'm giving right now are helping to inform and provide some sort of like, this is kind of what the, this is what the point program can maybe look like. This is... This is my idea, this is my vision, and I want to bring you into my vision. I need you to help me fill in the blanks of my vision. That's where I need you. That's where I need you. Oh, maybe in the five point tier, has a care slash BCD video ever made you cry? Oh, that might get you five points. That might get you five points. And then again, you go up by degrees of difficulty. You go up by degrees... Whoa. 
Whoa. Maybe to get like 10 points or even like 20 points. Have you ever successfully converted a friend or family member into the pride? Not just shown them videos, not just had them familiar, but have you actually converted someone? Oh, that might get you like 20 points. Have you ever actually physically been in the care compound? Have you visited care? How many points? Now, here's the other thing. Oh, we can we could create different tiers of visit. Have you visited care from a different country? Have you visited care from a different continent? That could get you different levels of points. Again, this is going to be a community. This is going to be an organically grown community led initiative. Curated by uh, certain members of the of the pride uh, different examples and I'm just gonna start rattling off different things uh, have you ever heard a Yano Moo or a Cassie squeak in real life that might get you a certain amount of points have you ever donated to care now here's the other thing this is we're not gonna turn it into EA it's not gonna be loot boxes but of course we have to recognize the people who are supporting the actual facility all right no, it's like if you've donated a hundred dollars, if you've donated ten thousand dollars, yeah, sure, pay to play, that's the thing. People are just buying points at that point. And it's like, okay, we don't want to turn into that, but at the same time, let's at least recognize the folks who do provide like the life giving support of this facility. Yes, that can translate into pride points. It's not going to be you can this is one of those things where yeah, you don't have to donate a single penny, you can still grind and achieve points. Or, you know, like, it can also help. It'll help to supplement. Uh, have you gotten a tour at CARE? Or it's like, have you gotten a tour with Jamie? Have you gotten a tour with me? Have you gotten a tour with Heidi? Different uh, points for different people. Ooh. Ah, see how this is working? Have you ever gotten a selfie with your favorite cat? Have you ever gotten a picture with me or Jamie or Heidi? Have you ever watched? Have you watched every webcast? That might be like, that'll give you like like 200 points or something like that. Because that's a lot. That's a big achievement. Have you watched every webcast? Have you watched every fancy cast? Have you ever stayed in the suites? One of those kind of things. Have you ever volunteered at CARE? Have you volunteered maybe over 500 hours? Have you volunteered over 1,000 hours? Have you ever gotten a tattoo of any of the CARE cats? Because here's the thing. Some folks have. Some folks have. How many pride points is that going to be? Who knows? Who knows? Now, this is how this is going to work out. What I need. You guys have... Okay. Now you have an idea of what it is that I'm thinking. So then I now default to you. I need you to go into the comment section. I need you, I need you to start making suggestions. Now, I need those suggestions to be, like, realistic. And they need to be... Um, some of them can be kind of niche. And actually, niche is good. Niche is good, but not so obscure that you're literally the only person... That could get that point. Like, well, you need to have this kind of blood type be exactly this tall. You know, like, hopped on one foot in the care compound for approximately two and a half minutes. You're the only person that can achieve that one? Then no. <laughs> no. That's... <laughs> we're not doing that. But I need you to go in and... Because I can't think of all of the different ways that points could be measured. But I think that what something like this can do, I think that it can increase like the amount of kind of engagement or it can kind of, uh, it can give like people like different, a different layer of kind of buy-in, um, as far as the community is concerned. And, uh, it can also be, uh, a fun way for people to kind of uh kind of compete with each other oh these are my pride points well you I, I, well, i'm gonna have this many pride points i'm gonna watch these videos and now i'm gonna have this many pride points i think that that would be very fun a bit of healthy competition never hurt nothing never hurt nothing okay. so this is the thing I need people to go in, provide some of those suggestions. 
provide some of those suggestions. Hi, hello. Hi, Mr. Lack Lack. Hi, Mr. Lack Lack. Now I've already talked, I've already talked to uh, the individual who um, I've requested to manage uh, this initiative. Remember, uh, remember that, remember that uh, nice fellow that I was roasting uh, by the name of Andy, on uh, one of the one of the last week webcasts. Well, his name actually turns out it isn't Andy. His name's Tyler, and um, he uh, he's gonna be in the comment section down below. His name is Baron, and he's got a plague doctor uh, thing. Oh, um. Whatever the little pic, picture, uh, profile picture, whatever. And he's actually going to be um, helping, helping to act as a filtration system. He's going to act as a manager, and he is going to be interfacing on some of the uh, other. He's going to be interfacing with some of the other, uh, other members who are active on. Uh, some of the, like, BCD, like, Friends of Yano-ish type, uh, communication boards. There are different kind of satellite discussion boards. Where different, uh, different members are active. And, um, what they're going to do is that they're going to take the suggestions that are put into the comment sections here. And then they're going to aggregate them. They're going to list them. They're going to rank them. They're going to assign them degrees of difficulty. Then they're going to, they're going to kind of say like, okay, well, these are good suggestions. These are good suggestions. They're going to get the, they're going to get kind of that whole thing going. They're going to toss out the, 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 the goofy ones and the silly ones or the unreasonable ones. And then they're going to have like a list. That they're going to be able to then give to me. I'm going to be able to review the list. And then I'm going to be able to provide like minor little happy to glad changes. Little touch ups. And then stamp it. And then say like here it is. This is the official pride points canonical list. For you. For you. And then you'll read the list. Oh I've done that one. Oh, oh, and then you can you can write down your points, and then you go to list. Oh, I've done that one and that one. Oh, this, and then you get to calculate, get to calculate your points, you get to see how many points you got. It'd be fun, and it can be a continuously evolving thing over the next few you know, weeks, months, years. Who knows what it could turn into? Who knows how we can use it to kind of like further explore? Different things like, have you ever, have you ever, like, watched, have you ever caught a live stream? Like, while it's being played out? Or, have you ever actually come up with, uh, you know, like a, a webcast reference? Because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of webcast references, there's a lot of, quote, BCD references that are not made by me, they're made by other people. Maybe that could be also, there's, there's so many different ways to get, you know, points. There's so many different ways. That's why I need you. I need the community. I need people's suggestions. And it has to be community related. That's the thing. And what I want for the end list, the ultimate ending, like what we end up with list, what I want, I want it to be, uh, I want it to be accessible. I want anyone who is part of the pride to be able to at least have some points. I want everyone to be able to have the, the ability to accrue. But I also want there to be an element of challenge. And yes, there's going to be a lot of points that people can easily get, but then there's going to be a number of different tiered point structures that are going to be very difficult to get, very challenging to get. So, it's not so easy that it just kind of makes it to where it's not a special thing, and it's not so hard to get on the board that no one wants to try.
You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking. And again, it's just going to be a thing where we will develop like the list, give you the list, and then it's up to you to express and to exercise personal accountability and a personal sense of integrity as you are tallying up your personal points, your personal pride points. We're not going to sit there and police and say like, mm, did you, I don't know, that's, there might be some times where, you know, it could be just like, yeah, there was like, a, you know, you get like 20,000 points if you, I'm not even going to say, I was going to say, you get like a bunch of points if you punch Derek in the head. No, that's, we're not doing that. <laughs> because then I would be like, mm, I don't think you've ever done that. <laughs> I'll like come back, be like, I did, I totally got that. And it's like, no, that's, I distinctly don't ever remember getting punched in the head by anyone. But I don't even know why I suggested that because now people are going to do like, oh, points, right? Like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so please go into the comment section and provide, just provide some suggestions. And, and if you could, this is the thing again, don't like, like try to make it reasonable, try to make it realistic, you know, like try to make things that, uh, try to have like a list of things that people could easily kind of do things that are kind of common to the, the pride of sphere, the ecosystem. Um, and then also add a couple of niche kind of things like, hey, there's this kind of like obscure kind of thing that is part of this whole experience that someone could get and it could be worth. And then and then also add also um, add suggestions for like what you think that your you know suggestions should be pointed as or or how like what sort of point values can be assigned to your suggestions, I should say. If you could do that, if you could help in that way, that would be awesome. So that my good and dear friend, Tyler, not Andy, uh, could uh, help to, you know, filter and curate and get that process going. That would be, that would be fantastic. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. So go on in the comment section, talk about the points. There you go. Well, thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. And I'll see you folks later. Say bye-bye, Meek Meek. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right, take care. Oh, there's a cat, cat that loves to squeak. Oh, there's a cat. Cat, 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 oh there are cats, cats with cute little feet, so oh, there are cats, cat, 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 oh there are cats with stripes, and there are cats with manes, so let's watch as Derek walks around the compound tonight. Yeah.